just had to tell Slick about it, but I finally got the guts about, oh, two years ago. Well, I was playing for Dallas at the time, and I was I came up here <laughs> to see the Pacers play Utah. And this friend of mine and I were sitting in my apartment living room, and all of a sudden, the March of Dimes telephone comes on. And the guy from Maytag was yip, 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 yip. So my friend who does excellent Bobby Leonard imitation called the telephone and said, hi there, I'm Bobby Leonard. And I'm gonna give $100 for every point we beat Utah by. Well, all of a sudden the television news flash, the guy comes running out, blah, 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 $100. And we figured they might win by one or two. So this friend of mine and I were sitting at the uh, press table. First quarter, they're up by five. Second quarter, they're up by 10. Third quarter, they're up by 20. And we said, oh my Lord. Middle of the fourth quarter, they're up by almost 30. Bill Vanella comes on the TV and he says, ladies and gentlemen, Bob Leonard is going to get $100 in the road. Slicks walking around, you know, like this. To make a long story short, they won by almost 30. The next day, it was headlines in the USA Today. <laughs> Bob Leonard gives none of that to the Cancer Society. I waited 40 years to tell him the story. <laughs> but I would like to introduce you to the man who, who was used to, a good friend of mine, the legend of the Speedway, who was actually the voice of Bobby Leonard that day. Mr. Al Friedman. Stand up, man. Stand up. <laughs> and I think they made him chairman of the Cancer Society. What a guy. <laughs>